My soul is prepared. How's yours, Brad Shoemaker? Um, I think I left it at home. Well, it's your iPad, so. Okay. Oh, shit. It's probably on here somewhere. Okay. Matt Rory. Hi. Hey, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Uh, I found you over in the engineer pit, and I said, hey, Matt Rory knows a thing or two about uh, collectible card games. I was really tempted right as you walked over to start playing one, another one, not this one, but. The, the engineering one. department, where card game fandom lives. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I have, um, yes, I played many a card game in my day. Yeah, uh, this is uh, this is made by um, Iron. Oh God, Iron Blade, Iron S Stone Blade. This was a Kickstarter game, Stone, right? Stone. I'm gonna go with Stone Blade. Stone Blade. I can look uh, that up real quick. Entertainment. Um, I'm not sure if this was a Kickstarter. I, I'm pretty sure I saw that this started on. Wouldn't a uh, sword made of stone be very impractical? Yes, yeah. so it's Stone Blade yeah. uh, is the name of the place, and this uh, was a Kickstarter. It made four hundred twenty-nine thousand wow. dollars out of a two hundred fifty thousand dollars gold. Great gold. So these are the guys that made uh, the board game Ascension, which okay. I really like. Right. Um, this is sort of different from Ascension, and actually, before they made Ascension, they uh, they made um, Magic the Gathering. Or they were a part of uh, Magic the Gathering. Ah, okay. That's, that's so, where they, uh, wait, they, was, they, they came from. Wait, is this the one that Richard Garfield was involved with? I don't know. I don't know. I could have, These I guys know their is. cards. Yeah. 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 All right. And their um, games. Show me your cards. This is a free-to-play game, as evidenced by this stuff. There you go. Okay. Um, I can, down here in the lower right, I can hit buy gold, and I can buy this gold for money. Uh, weird conversion ratios. Yeah, it looks to be about uh, Best value. 275 per dollar. Okay. Which Ugh. is even weirder than 80 for Microsoft bucks, but uh, it's kind of cool. So, you what you buy with your money money is uh, booster packs, and you can see here. I'll click on the premium. Contains 10 cards, at least one legendary, heroic, uh, and rare cards. <laughs> so they don't have common, uncommon, and rare. They have rare, heroic, and legendary. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. It's like wow. It's like great, greater, and greatest. <laughs> right. Legendary, um, epic. And down here at the uh, the booster pack. You can see over here it says buy for 900 uh, silver, si silver, which I actually l uh, earn. Okay, sure. With every game, um, and if I click on that, it says uh, rare, hero heroic, and legendary. Only this says there's a chance to earn them. Yeah. And whereas with the uh, the normal and the premium, you are guaranteed. Um, so it's it's just a it's a guaranteed thing if you buy it with real money and if you just want to not pay money, then it's just a lower chance. But so you have about 12, 1,300, 13,000 uh, silver or whatever silver. that is in there. Yeah, so How I much actually, you start with? Uh, 10,000, I assume, or something? No, you start with zero, I oh, think. Oh, wow. I think I've just made it up here. So I can, a pretty good I can buy a whole bunch of them. Uh, yeah, get a couple, get a couple of here, I'll get. I'll just get two for now um, so we can see what they look like. Congrats on your purchase. Thanks. And I can open up packs. Is there a countdown? A countdown? When you open stuff. Opening. A little animation. Oh, that's animation. Not bad. Oh, that was okay. Yeah. That was, you know, oh, that one's rare. Yeah, there you go. I like I like cool. a little more fanfare when I roll the dice, but you, you know that was not too. You bad. would like Hearthstone then. Okay. I will say, that's the Blizzard CCG that is in beta now. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was referring to with uh, uh, Matt Rory's another rare. Yeah, look well, at these, all these rare. Stuff. These are rare. These are mandatory rares. So you don't have any legendary. I mean, or, rare is the baseline. Oh, that's true. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, it looks like there's even more common stuff. Oh, there's than rare, so okay. I'm assuming rare is like. Uncommon in magic or something like that. It's a lot of packs. Nice. A lot of cards. Out of packs. Get more now. All right. You need to go kill cards with these cards. Yeah. Let's do it. I want all to right. see some cards die. We create a game here. Um, is this all online or is there any AI? There, there on? is AI. So I'll play okay. an AI one first. Uh, so these are your starter decks here. I don't know why they're duping up like this. Um, but uh, there's, there's four factions. Actually, let me just. I'll go into my deck builder real quick here. Sure. So I can show you the different kinds of cards. Yeah, I got it. Uh, so we've got, um, turn all these off here. So I've got the Aloyan, which are robots. I've got the Necrium, which are kind of undead, undead okay. zombie type creatures. Okay. The Tempes, which are elemental god earth type creatures. And the Utera, oh, those are, those are the earth, earth people. Uh, plants, you know, stuff like that. So I, when you create your own deck, you can you can create a deck with up to two factions. Huh. So I created one called Zombie Robots, another called Earth, Wind, and Fire. 
Um, Great. So I'm most proficient with zombie robots, so I'm going to choose that one. And uh, let's make it a computer normal. Just cause. And uh, we'll have him fight me with my own deck. Yeah. Play. Okay. Brad Shoemaker. Hey. Lanes. Uh, wow. What? All right. So I've got... Um, let me just uh, put a guy in here. Let's see. Let's put my necrotic worm up here. So... Did you have to spend resources to do that? Or? No, so no. there are only two things going on here. Down here, I'll double click this guy, bring him up. Uh, lower left is the attack, and the lower right is the health. Pretty standard so far, Drew. And, and pretty simple, that's kind of it. There's no mana, there's no tapping. Mm -hmm. um, there are levels stuff. though, it looks there like. There are levels, so you can see here, his attack will go up, his health will go oh, up as he levels. Oh, wow. worm has horns. Yeah, and each time, so this is kind of where uh, it behooves this game to be a computer game, is each time I play one of these cards, um, it will level up. Permanently? Yes. Not just within this match? Uh, oh, no, no. no. Oh, just okay. within this match. Okay, just, just until the so match. So because I played this level one necrotic worm, the next time it comes up, it'll be a level two. Okay. Assu so assuming, of... assuming it doesn't die, right? Or you don't lose it? Uh, you don't lose stuff. Oh, so, there's no way to lose cards? Right, when I, when I play it out here, uh, it'll be outside of my deck, but as soon as it gets killed, it'll go back into my deck. Oh. Huh. So, all right, I've got these. Uh, and, and retain its level? It will retain that level, yeah. Okay. So when I'm playing it right here, it's still just level one. Right. When it dies, it'll go back into my deck as a level two. Okay. And next time it comes up, it'll be level two. Wow. Uh, so I've got my, uh, my five lanes down here. Um, the Necrotic Worm here I've placed in number four. Uh, and basically, you look up in the, the upper right, Computer Normal has 100 health, and uh, that other number, the one, is his level. So he can play, he can only play level one cards. Ah, I see. So if he got a level two, he couldn't play it. Hmm. Uh, but what my objective here is to reduce his hit points to zero. So the Necrotic Worm, if I just hit battle right here, uh, well, that's a bad example, but if there was no card obstructing my Necrotic Worm, he would do four damage to hmm. the computer. Okay. Uh, so this icon that's on the worm, it's like a, a, a black disc here. Um, that means he's in defensive mode. When the cards come out, they can't automatically attack. Mana sickness. Shh. Summoning sickness is what they call it, magic. Okay. Pretty standard <clears throat> card game trope. All right, so I put one out there. I'm gonna hit battle down here. He's not gonna do anything because he's in that defensive uh, state. Uh, and uh, because I can only put one card out on my first turn, I'm gonna hit end turn. And then all those cards down there that I had to choose from huh. are reshuffled back into uh, my deck. So he's it's his turn now. He gets to play uh, two cards. He just killed oh, a worm. Poor worm. What else did he play? Uh, he played some kind of level up thing. He, he played, uh, so you've got, in addition to creatures, so here's, here's a creature, a corpse crawler. This one's actually pretty ah, good. Ah, I see. Uh, you've also got um, spells. So this will do things like, if you read down there, target creature gets plus five attack. So that'll buff any creature I have out there. Um, those are all creatures. There are also uh, cards, spells, that will um, do bad things to sure, sure. the enemy creature Direct as well. damage. So let's see. Corpse Crawler has got a pretty good attack. Um, and his, his ability. His drawback, yeah, I see. Well, I mean, it's. I don't think this is mandatory. Uh, it, it says looks... down here, when Corpse Crawler enters the field, destroy another creature you control. Even if it's non-mandatory, it'll say you may do something. But since you don't have any so other creatures around... That's part of one of my problems with this game, is that these uh, descriptions are sometimes not written very uh, clearly. Okay. So you kind of have to experiment. But uh, I'm going to play this guy anyway. The cool part about where I am right now is that I don't have anybody out there. Yeah, so, so no drawback. No drawback. So um, he's, he's 7 and 8. That's pretty good. He goes up to 12 and 13, and then to 20 and 21, which is a lot. So yeah. I'm gonna play him as soon as possible. Um, the reason I'm not playing in the center, which is kind of where my- Oh oath... no, you don't have to destroy him, do you? N no. Cancel, no, can, no, you, no. can yeah, you not yeah. okay, choose yeah, anything? That's right. Yeah, I can hit cancel down here in the lower right, and I'm gonna cancel oh, good. my ability. That's nice. And not kill anybody. Um, the reason I didn't place in the middle, which is uh, where I would normally go for OCD reasons, uh, is because that sometimes I had this one card that if you place it in the middle, and only the middle, you get a buff to it. It's not this guy. Huh. Um, but this guy's cool because uh, when he 
kills a guy, or when a card opposite him gets killed, he um, gets buffed. Gets, yeah, plus two attack, plus two health. I think I'm gonna go with that because I just I want I want guys out here. So my objective here is not only to start um, taking down the enemy hit point wise, but also just like put put cards on my lanes to defend uh, against sure. uh, his stuff when it eventually pops up. And uh, the cool part is, like, if, if one of my guys has, say, one hit point, but the enemy card opposite him is doing, like, eight attack, I still won't get hit because it doesn't break through to me. There's no trample. Oh, is that what it is? It's called magic. I'm just gonna use every magic okay. term I know. That's probably good for people who are, who are magic fans watching yeah. this then. Not so good for me, just for reference, <laughs> yeah, but that's I, okay. I, I haven't played uh, virtually any magic, so uh, they're all new to me too. Okay, here we go. Here's the guy who can go in the center. So I'm gonna put him in the center um, and get plus two attack on everybody. Nice. Except for him, I think. Yeah. Other creatures, yeah. Right, so a anything that, like if I put another one in here, um, that one would get uh, two attack as well. Let's look at my spell here. What's this one? Uh, minus five attack to a target creature. That'd be kind of cool because the spark bot yeah, up spark here bot. would go down to zero, but maybe. Um, you know what? I'm going to do that because I want to keep this guy out here. Because yeah. otherwise, that spark bot is going to reduce him to a measly two health points. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to hit battle. Neat. So because the corpse crawler. Uh, this guy and this guy have been out for one turn. Now they're attacking. So the interesting thing is when when this guy attacks uh, this guy, the Technosmith. Um, even though the Technosmith is in defensive mode, when my Grim Gaunt Predator attacks him, he will attack back automatically. Sure. Yeah. Um, so the Technosmith can't initiate combat, but when attacked, uh, he will automatically do um, two damage to my uh, five health. He's a blocker predator. in the parlance of magic. Okay, so let's do that. So this Battle. Is a, yeah, this is pretty similar to, oh, I see, wow. So you, you don't choose individual attackers, you automatically go with everybody who's available? Right, yeah, so everyone oh. only attacks in their lane. I see. Um, and uh, this guy's also got a uh, an ability called mobility. Um, Guess that I can use at any time. Allows him to move to different So lanes. yeah, let me just do that. Cool, um, spread it out. no real reason to uh, right now. But you, so you, you, can, you can use your ability either before or after your battle. Um, and you can also play cards before and after battle. Um, that's really sort of limited times that you'd want to do that. But maybe that's sort of an advanced level play, I don't really know. Sometimes you want to lay down creatures after you attack. Uh, in this case, like a battle technician gave that bonus to them, but otherwise, you kind of keep them guessing, uh, your opponents. Uh, but it, it, that was a totally good play. See, that dude attacked, and then he laid down a card. Right. Uh, you know, depending on what kind of active abilities there are out there. How did he get that three attack back? I thought you cast a spell on him to reduce that attack. Uh, yeah, so he played a spell. It's, it's, it's kind of a bummer when, they, when the enemy plays spells that go by really quickly yeah. um, and just kind of sort of go into that void There's there no, on like, the right. A uh, log of what's in play or anything? Right, so what happens is, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, huh. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, so he played... Hunger uh, Strike, leveling one, targeting Sparkbot, level one. So Hungering Strike is, looks like I'm, that's one I'm curious about. Yeah, it's plus three attack for him and minus three for me. Oh, that stinks. Uh, so yeah, he minus three on my Predator here and uh, added three to him. Um, so, let's see. We've got Cole the Weak here, which I think destroys target creatures four or less. I could do that on that spark bot. That Marifine's gonna kill off your Grimgot, though, next turn. Yeah, yeah you're right. There might not be anything. Oh, I could move him. Yeah, yeah, um, true enough. There you go. But so then you take eight damage. That Marifine is actually a good example of why you would want to uh, attack first and then put out a card, because for the Marifine, he's only got one health. So if I had five cards here, yeah. he couldn't play that card because it would just get immediately destroyed. Um, so let's, uh, huh. I am going to move him. Maybe use a less valuable to there. character. 
Yeah, I could do that. I could, uh... The Aloy in general might be a good trade-off card if you don't want to take that any damage. And that one actually might be good because, so as soon as he, he'll get killed in one hit and oh, there immediately you go. go back into my pile. Yeah. And what he does is, uh... When I pull him back up, he'll be in level two, and he will have a plus. He will add a plus four attack to adjacent cards. So that's actually a good idea. Um, I'll do that, and uh, and then you get two plus two attack from your uh, your predator. That's not bad. Yeah, and I've got one more move. Um, so I'm gonna call the weak on this spark bot. Boom. See you later. He's already down to 56. Uh, what I find myself doing is prioritizing, um, not getting hurt Hurts, yeah. over destroying his cards. So even if I had the chance, like say with a spell to, oh man, wow, all kinds of stuff just happened. Uh, if I had the chance with a spell to destroy one of his cards, um, but that would leave me open to an, a, a hit, I would not do that because so you, I want to retain all my HP. You leveled up, you got to level two. I'm assuming that's just a straight like five turns level two kind of thing. I'm not sure how that how that works. Such um, actions or killing, because it looks like you both went at the same turn, so it looks like it's just kind of a timer, like a, a straightforward uh, set time. You, you get that. It looks like you have a level two card now. Is yeah, that good? So I, what I don't know is if uh, if I hadn't leveled up to level two, would he appear or could you would just not that play level him? two card appear? It looks like I'm you've only sure. seen level one cards, so I'm assuming they don't start appearing until. Well, all my cards start at level one. Okay. What does that card do? The one you put down, battle, battle technician. This one uh, gives. Uh, plus oh, nice. Four to oh, you had that one before. I just leveled right. up. Right, and it only gave. I think it only. Wow, gave you're gonna do a lot of damage plus here. Plus two back there. I remember the battle tactician because battle tactician is an awesome name. It is. All the illustrations and names in this are pretty awesome. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, I remember this witch being cool. Uh, when she enters the field, you may destroy a target creature with one or less attack. That doesn't really happen a lot, especially yeah. at, or even at this early stage. But if you level her up, this is a four or less, and then a seven or less. So I might just play her to level her up, even though, well, I don't know. Let me do... Marafine might be nice. Yeah, let me do I Marafine. mean, if you're going for the kill now. I'm not telling you. I'm trying not to tell you how to play. I have opinions. Well, Marafine's so. a good one because I've already got Battle Technician in here. He's given plus four to everybody. Yeah. Marafine's pretty powerful, so I'm going to go for it. 21, yeah, that's nice. a pretty good one. You're going to win this game, I think. And turn. Level two Necrotic Worm down there. Yeah, there he is. Corpse Crawler, Whoa, wow. okay. Whoa, what the? Did he sacrifice that somehow? What did he do? Okay, so when he put that corpse crawler out there, remember he's got the thing where it says you have to d destroy another creature you control. Um, so he played his corpse crawler and then destroyed it, which is a, a risky he, move because it means it leaves, he's leaving himself open. I mean, he's gonna lose did this. Did he gain experience on that card when he so did that? So what'll happen is the next time it comes up, because he played it, it will level up, and then huh. uh, it goes right back into his deck without it, like, see, like, oh. I, I could not pull a corpse crawler right now, because sure. I only got one in this deck. Well, it's kind of kind of academic, because you've won the game. Right, yeah, I could just hit battle here, and you, you and thoroughly win. Boosh, thoroughly yeah. win the game. Yeah, and he was so using can... the same deck you were, too, so it wasn't even that, uh, it wasn't a poor matchup, he just he played well and got good, uh, good draws, right? Yeah. All right, did you earn anything for playing AI? Can you earn currency? Yes. Like, is there any permanence so, to... Uh, you get one, well, let's see, uh, I logged in already today, so I got, oh, I got, it's one of those classic free to play, log yes. in every day, get a, get a pack or something. Yeah, I logged by, in every day. Even, even by playing AI? Um, just for logging in a lot of these games, logging, not even for that, huh? Yeah. Warframe will do that too, like Warframe will pull up yeah, this roulette yeah, I've, wheel. I've played a little bit of Warframe. Um, so you get, you get a, I think you get a, a pack every day? or a card every day, hmm. uh, and a pack sometimes. Um, so let me just show what it's like to, to make a deck here. Cards. Um, let's say I want to create a zombie plants, plants versus zombies deck. Mm, That's what I want to create. I have to go. Yes. You have to go, go yes. what, play plants versus no, zombies? I didn't have to be away from that joke. <laughs> Far away. Let's so check it out. I can sort by attack, I can sort by health. I could then say, but what's their health like at level three? He's got 21, that's pretty sweet. I want all of him in my deck. 
And I'm, I've only got one of him, so I can only add one. So are there, um, are there certain cards that are very weak at level one and become very powerful at level three, like anything like that? Or yeah, totally. So you'll yeah? see uh, as I go through. Well, so the iPad version, I was playing on the PC, um, and when you change these levels, the cards will resort. Uh, like you see over here, it's health 21, 15, 9, 16. Like that's not sorting correctly. Sure. Um, but yes, you'll be. Ideally, you would be able to see them shuffle around, uh, and you can see who's better early game, mid game, and late game, hmm. um, and then add them uh, based on that. You've got uh, 30 per deck, exactly 30 cards, uh, and up to two factions. Uh, you can also sort by spells and creatures, uh, and it's up to you to kind of play around with the ratio that's good for that. I think I went like 20 and 10 for my creatures zombie robots. Spells, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. No, unsafe. Um, they're, they've planned a campaign, you can see over here, uh, grayed out, and I guess tournaments. Uh, through the campaign, you will also be able to earn uh, cards. Um, but uh, they haven't, I haven't really seen what the campaign is all about. It's interesting to think of a quick start, Kickstarter for a free-to-play game. Like that that seems like a... I, yeah, I, 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 wonder, I, I wonder what backers got for that. I guess they... It sounds like they got gold or whatever. like that the thing. They got some free gold and stuff like that. Or something. I mean, to get a game out there, but, you know, uh, free-to-play games are such money pots to begin with. It, it's uh, interesting. It's interesting, shall we say. Sure. Well, what, you still got to get through development. What is the Soul Forge? You've made games before, Matt Rory. Yeah. Single-handedly. Uh, is the Soul Forge, is there like a universe built up behind this? Is there a backstory? Or is Probably. It kind of... uh, that has not been surfaced at all uh, in here. Maybe a little bit in the tutorial. Why I don't do, know. I played that a while I, ago. Why do I feel like I remember reading about some kind of underlying fiction or something for this? I don't know. See, this is a good example. I don't really understand what this means. When a Cinderfist Brawler deals battle damage to a player, it also deals that much damage to that player. The double strike. It hits for seven, it hits seven again. Why don't they say that, Matt Rory? I don't know. Sometimes it, because if it attacks a creature, it won't, it'll only do the seven damage, but if it attacks the player, it'll so do twice as much. So here's a good example of what you were just saying. This guy is one and one. Yeah. And he's zero and fifteen while he's defender. in his trickles. He's a, wall. He's a defender, yeah. and then wha bam! Holy sh Mikey! Wow. Yeah. So I'm gonna play him as soon as possible to uh, to help level him up. Um, so I'm gonna put that guy in there. Hopefully, bust down Mr. General Man, and you, sir. Well, actually, if I was smart, I would have put him across from the general just to get him yeah. killed and back into the, the deck as Ex soon as possible. So experience is gained when they leave the table rather than when they're, like if you leave it on, it, no, nothing goes from one to three, no matter how long they're on the right. table, right? So you'll see when I when I play, uh, when I put a card out on the table, it'll go over there where those cards just did, yeah. and it'll say like level two. Hmm. Um, and then it'll, it'll look like it's going back into your deck, but it's not, I don't yeah. think, I think, it won't show up again until you've discarded, or until that card is, has I been see. killed from killed off your table. Uh, so this is an online match. I've had a, a, a reasonably all right experience online. Um, this game was pretty buggy for a bit, Whoa. and there we go. Yep. Ah. <laughs> um, all right. I'd well say about 50-50. Uh, there's no connectivity problem with the iPad. It's just right like that, the networking. That just happens. So okay. what's what's going on here with the match? Flashing. Can you so, jump back in? Yeah. Can it, can it restore? Yeah, it can. All right, that's um, great. And uh, I'm on a on a timed game. Ah. Yep. All right. Oh. As you can, as you may have seen uh, in the in the character portraits. Yeah, I saw the time taken. Um, so it's kind of like chess. You know, you, you hit the hit the stopwatch. Come but on, it's so overall forge. for all of your all of your turns combined or half an hour then. Right. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, not working. Awesome. But I, there's also so if you go to create game, um, sure. You can do online friend and then an untimed game. So I mm, think okay. that's like email play. Huh. Almost. Huh. Yeah, so you yeah. Could, like you could just uh, do turn based. Where's, where's the friends? Like, or, you know, yeah, check yeah, them or in like letter press yeah. or whatever. Just I like haven't tried that. Um, Asynchronous. But that, that seems like a really cool idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, this game isn't, it, you know, the campaign's not there. Um, so it's not fully 
not not there as in, as in they're, they're working on it? It is, yeah, it's it just is, grayed is, out. It is coming? I, I can't click it. It is coming. Okay. Oh, God, I didn't, yeah, sorry. Uh, I looked at the screen. Yeah, they're going to have to work on that networking stuff for the yeah, tournament, that's I unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, that the state of that and the state of uh, the campaign you know, made me do a double take on whether we should cover this or not. But I think I, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, they're accepting money for it right now. So it's fair, fair game. Fair game. Uh, as far as I'm concerned. So uh, are we going to take a look at Hearthstone later this week? I yeah, think? I would love to if, um, yeah. if, it's, if you can. Yeah, we won't talk about it too much here. But yeah, there, so the other big card game. I love me some card games. My Metal Gear Acid is still one of my favorite portable games ever. Uh, I love anything that overlays a card-based system of interacting with the world. I would, I would, you know, play card games if I, big ma magic guy, played a bunch of uh, Star Wars, the collectible card game back in the day. Uh, yeah, I love this stuff. It's, it seems, it's all influenced by magic. I mean, there's, there's yeah. no card game out there. There are a few, there, there are a few, I'm not saying they're no, but When did magic start? I was 90, God, 90, 93, 92. Oh, geez. Okay. It's really old. Wow. Uh, obviously, they've been card games forever, but because uh, I had friends that played that Star Wars game, but even that wasn't until the mid '90s. So I guess even, I got heavy into that. Into, magic was even before that. Yeah, the Star Wars card game was kind of a tragic tale where they got the license yanked oh, from no. Decipher and they gave it to Wizards of the Coast, and oh. Wizards kind of didn't didn't do very much of it. Oh, that like there should be a really huge Star Wars card game out now, but they they just yeah, never really. Yeah, that was really popular. For it a while. was really yeah. All my I still have all my cards in the closet. Um, I like this stuff. Yeah, I, me I'm, too. It's, it's just like, it's it's turn-based, so you're not like... I do like turn-based. This is built for tablets, too. Yeah, you're uh, not freaking out. Yeah, there's no... There's yeah, no. Cool. You get time to consider your moves. Um, and, you know, you're, you're somewhat limited in what you can do. You've only got the five slots. You've only got a certain amount of A lot of these... And this and Hearthstone, too. pre-planning. That's yeah, the team. Yeah. It's interesting to see these games take away the resource management aspect of the thing entirely. Like yeah, there's no, that too. It's like kind it's of, just, it's simplified, but it's, it it's makes it. It's not a stressful game to play. Yeah. I like that about it. And uh, I guess that's Soul Forge. Cool. cool. Thanks, fellas, for joining so me. So you can just go get this on the App Store? Yeah, this or, is free. It's or, also free on Steam. I prefer the iPad version. Mm. Uh, the PC version looks like it's just kind of the same assets in the same aspect ratio even. Mm. Um, when you do like a widescreen it just puts some art on the sides, uh, but the uh, the deck builder works in uh, in the PC. Cool. It's, it sorts correctly, um, but I mean that that's just a that's just a fix. That's just a patch. What's the rarest card you got? Uh, Do you have any legendary here. or heroics or anything like that? Uh, all factions selected. Sort by rarity. Ooh, you got that one. Trogas. Oh, so there's only one that you have. Uh, what's the maximum you can put in a deck? Is this guy four copies or does it? Are there even? I don't know if there's a maximum. The, more, the most I have of one is six. Let's see if I can. I could put six in if wow. I really wanted six marathines. I'm assuming the more you put in, the riskier you have. Like, if you have one on the if you have one on the table, you can't draw more. So having having all those things is kind of is probably not. You, there, oh no, probably, you, you can. You really? Yeah. I mean, you can have two of the same creature out on the on the table oh, at the sure. same time. Oh, sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, huh. yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I'm curious what the sweet spot is for. Uh, for, uh, yeah, I mean, like when that's that's kind of the cool thing uh, that I uh, hope to get into, like just getting real hardcore about my deck composition. Yeah, uh, I haven't really fallen into a, a card game like this um, ever, so uh, this is kind of fun. And if you want to play some uh, some a similar sort of game on a on a board, I highly recommend Ascension. Uh, also, also from these guys. Also from these said. guys. Cool. Uh, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. All right, thanks, fellas. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.